Welcome back, YouTube. Okay. I started replacing wiring, as you can see. That's awesome, isn't it? I broke all this open so I can get in and out. Don't know about you guys, but I'm a derpy bat. Okay. You can place these fascades down um, in an empty space, but when you've got a pipe here, you've actually got to right click on the pipe because it places it on the pipe. See? Pretty awesome, isn't it? Okay, now we can go down this way. I knew you were going to do that. And we need more. Have I got any more? What is it? It's. I should have a heap more. No. Let's craft another 64. I actually input it into my. Um, little system so it, it'll craft it for me so it makes it extremely easy This cable's not really that worth having now. Clean all this up. Okay, we're now at the solar. Well, yeah, we're well, the wind farm. It's not solar, it's wind. I get a lot more dirt from my actual... Um, System in a minute. Same a derpy bat. I'm too fat to land on the shelf. There we go. I'm a watermelon with wings. I suppose it's almost covered in a watermelon with wings. It's pretty scary. I like to build things in that way, there is literally no chance for them to spawn. And that goes up over to here. As I said, we'll be doing a lot of cleanup for all these cables and that. I prefer to run things closer to the surface with the ender. I built some of these um, laser plus. They're a lot quicker. 
Yeah, no, I'll dig that out later. I just filled it in for no reason. I said I'm gaping. What more proof do you need? I just filled, my, filled a hole in with me in it. We will need a lot of cables. I'm not gonna actually going to change the location of these guys because I think they're fine where they are. My little solar farm. See, you can use the wrench on them, so I'll actually fill in this hole and just go along the surface. That way, I can check on my cables if anything goes wrong. If you ask me, it's always a good idea. Always make sure you can check your work. Start laying pot. Don't forget this stuff can move a lot of power. So hopefully this will solve my power issues. What did I do that for? Alright, let's get some more cable. I put the dirt away as well. Can I get... okay. Oh, I could get two stacks, excellent. I think I'm pretty much out of, so to speak, um, cable binder though.
Yeah, as I said before, I knew I'd have to dig this out because I goofed. But See if it works. Uh... Wow. That works really well. We'll make some brass covers because I'm pretty sure I've got a bit of grass in there. Yep, I got one bit of grass. How's that for lucky? See, we can put grass there. We'll need quite a bit, so chuck all my old cables in here. Put that in there. Make wood, lever, oh that's the trap door to my, so you can still use trap doors on it, although that's the wrong way. So much cleaner up here, isn't it? That's nicer. So. Well, let's sleep. Just so we can get rid of the mobs. Okay. So we've got 13 made so far. These are really, really cool. That, that, that. There's no cables here. It's just dirt. And of course, we can alter the cables now as we want. And we'll get some dirt cables. Actually, can I re Yeah, I can. I can actually redo the extras as something else. I didn't know that. That is awesome. You can repaint conduits. So if you don't want a conduit of a certain type, you can just repaint it. Something more useful, so you don't actually have to keep. That's cool. That is cool. The developer of Ender IO really um. Well, best way to put it, really put it out there for us. Of course, yes, I will need some grass ones, I know that. Because i got to do it near the solar farm yet. But I just wanted to see. And I am pleasantly surprised. Being able to hide your cables like this is just makes it so much better. I don't know about anybody else, but having cables going everywhere just makes the place look ugly. Yeah, I'll show you what this enchant move I built it. I'll show you what it does. We'll be using it later, but. So 
I eventually want to set up a, a quarry. And if I want to, I can put a brick there or something like that, but the little cable coming out of the ground doesn't bother me at all. I just really hate the big cables all over the place. I just think they make the place look ugly. But yeah. Mm, let's have uh, more bacon. Oh, if you have a big pile of bacon, you might have to just multiple clicks to get it all in there. I think you can hold 200 and something. 256, I think. up. You can see all the cables go up there. Just so much nicer being able to actually have a house instead of holes in the walls with cables. And it's not very appealing. I like I'm a uh, design or anything but just means you can actually if you want a, an actual house that looks like a castle you can make a house that looks like a castle you don't have to have holes in the wall for all the cables that for me is pretty awesome what is that? aura node why is there an aura node there? More importantly, what aura node is it? I'll have to get a Cespic, my thermometer out and find out what it is. Because if that's the one summoning all those furious zombies, it's going bye-bye. That's just the recipe to craft this thing. If you're wondering, still really can't study much. But hey, we'll get into it eventually. I'm only trying to clean my house up at the moment. And stupid to study it. It's funny, isn't it? Well, I didn't need as much cable as I thought I would to get to there. I'll hook it into the house network soon enough. That way up there is down here as well. Especially with these. With these I can hook it in and have it hidden. Windmills are noisy. Still need more. Might as well just let's see how many I've got left. Needs be I might need the I got thirty-five. Turn them to dirt. Get them, get them, what's this? Bricks and spruce wood. Convert all these to dirt as well. Makes it extremely useful. Yeah, so. As you can see, you can you don't even have to hinder your actual um, creativity because I can have item pipes running in there with those, even liquid as well. I can have quite a few pipes in there. So if I wanted to, I could have 
all this hooked up with a little sorting network. So it'll go in here if it can, it'll go in there if it can. Let's see if this will finish off that area. It's not much left, so. But yeah. So you can really make some nice little sorting networks. Just tidy up your base in general, really. Perfect. See, I can have it going. Let's see. Yeah, now I've got a shovel and that paxel. How easy is that? Now my house is hooked up to the wind as well. Pretty awesome. The bonus is... It doesn't look ugly. No, I don't need to do those ones, but... Makes it look nice anyway. Nice and clean. Nope, sleep them right away. But that's how easy it is with the end IO. You can make a nice, easy little clean system. Um Well now my home is on the main grid. Still got massive drain. What's draining at all? It's using 96. Hang on, was that 210,000? Whoa. Okay, that's not drain. It's massive power. But isn't that? But that's nice, isn't it? And of course, there it is. My nice clean system. If I wanted to, I can put something along the house here and hide that. Doesn't bother me, I could actually run it up inside the wall. Yeah, let's do that, hey? too much, so I can just put that back. Alright. So I'm going to need a brick. Wood. Okay. Let's 
bricks. I still have bricks on me. Ah. Seriously, something wrong with me. And that's the thing you'll learn what you can and can't do. How you can hide things, all that sort of stuff. The best thing is you can still build on these things and that. So you don't have to worry about it. them and one of them. But have a look. Nice and hidden. Because I can also do, if I wanted to, have a go through there. quick way through. And see, you uh, can't see it from anywhere. It's pretty good. Okay, um, yeah, I don't think I've got any... And I don't think I can craft anymore, because I think I'm missing... Conduit, so uh, have we got... Okay, I still got some binder. Good. Somebody likes me. But look how nice and clean this is now. You can't tell that this wires running through all this. Cooked in here. You're going to wait until you get enough for the whole lot. But yeah, I can even set up an ME network and all that sort of stuff if I wanted to. We may do in a later episode. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. Well, we've got this pipe here. We can stick a simple little pipe like that. Extract. Because you can use just your hand to access these. And we want it active at all times. So now I can always put a stone block there. Pretty cool, isn't it? I gotta my, empty my smelter again. It's just shocking how much garbage builds up in my smelter. I like to, I like to mine, so. Okay. And you're missing... Hmm. Alright, what do they take to make? That's what I thought. Why 
one oak and one spruce. Ta-da! House is nice and cleaned up. In, put that in. Oh, that's one thing I was going to show you. Is I don't have any of those. The basic one. Okay, we've got power going through the floor. Get my spanner. I'm going to cheat and just make it night. Okay, we need because these are another thing I've noticed. That one's on. That one's on. Now, if we turn it to night. bright it is in here. Nothing can spawn in here at all. Turn them off. Things can spawn. But they're actually like a really bright light. Now see things can spawn on my roof. Put one there. Put a lever there. I can actually make it so there's a switch for all these. So. They won't have to have these hideous. Yes. Oh, you get them back if you break them. So there's no real worries there. I will put torches up. So I, can, I suppose I can always wire it to a, a lever on a wall. Um, 
means I just have to run up into the wall and run. Hmm. But anyway, they are really awesome. It's just a light. Instead of using torches, you can just have a Um, electric light. They're actually pretty easy to build the lights. I put those ones away, so I'll just. There you go. As you saw me build them, nice and easy. Um, you can also build a conduit switch. So, which gives you a switch you can activate. But you can also run redstone through the walls and all that sort of stuff as well, so. You're not out of any idea. Yeah, not out of ideas of things to do, basically. Well, you're not out of options. How's that for a better one? Um, yes, that's what I wanted. Um, I built a quarry. A quarry plus, and I want efficiency. I'm breaking. Nothing else. Oh, I'll grab that one. That one. Okay. You basically put your quarry or whatever in here. Oh, it's got to be a diamond pick. That's right. You can only transfer off diamond picks. Yeah, I know. I didn't invent the rules. Efficiency 2. Sad. But, it's not a big worry. Because, that, it's got efficiency 2. I'll go back and enchant it again. If we get it with more efficiency, we can add more efficiency to it. It actually s kind of keeps the enchantments. Efficiency 1, so I'll have efficiency 3 on it. Which is pretty cool. See? It actually accumulates. Or cool. Let's see if we've got any... Thing if I had any ma magic books. Alright. Well, that's the end of this episode, guys. Um, we'll set up the quarry up here in the next episode because it's out of the way of all my cables and all that, and we can have a look at what the quarry can do, sort of thing. Oh, I gotta get those, um... Anyway. We'll sort it out next episode. Um, yeah. Ciao, guys.